what's up, Ellie Shadow Lady here, and today I'm doing a Minecraft hide and seek challenge with my friends. Each of us will build our own hide and seek arena and then hide inside while the other players try to find us. But since this is an LD Shadow Lady video after all, you already know that I have some devious tricks up my sleeve. Lizzie! Lizzie, what have you done? But first, I need to build an arena for me to hide in. And this is a very small space. They are gonna find me so quickly unless I build something very chaotic and intricate. So my first idea is to replace all of this grass with water. Now we've added a whole new level to this hide and seek game because I could be hiding underwater. So I'm gonna build loads of rocks and trenches to create some nooks and crannies that I could be hiding in. And to camouflage myself even more, let's add some texture with a few diamond ore blocks sprinkled in there. That should keep them distracted for a few seconds. Next, let's add some bone meal. So there's lots of seagrass and some kelp too for some natural camouflage. Next, we'll add some soul sand like so, and this will create a bubble column, thus making it even more difficult for the seekers to find me down here. Except I won't actually be down here. Looks like it's time to build the next part of my hide and seek arena. I decided to stick with the water theme and turn my arena into a giant fishing shack. Now, because I'm going to be hiding in here, I thought the more chaotic the build is, the longer I'll be able to stay hidden. So I added all these balconies and extensions to create a sense of confusion to anybody who ventures inside. Ta-da! The fishing shack is complete. The only problem is that there's nowhere inside to hide yet. So we need to give this interior a makeover that includes lots of hiding spots for them to check, and of course, a few little traps. So let's start here at the bottom, where I'm going to create a very busy, chaotic shop vibe. And to match the exterior, it's going to be fish themed. So let's line all these walls with shelves. So here we shall have some codfish. Ta-da! And let's get even crazier and add a few puffer fish. Oh, whoa. Okay, that one's actually dangerous, which makes it even better. Now these are super cute and all, but I think we need some bigger fish, if you know what I mean. Yes, dolphins. Let's put a dolphin on this shelf over here. There. Oh, that is perfect. <gasps> that is so cool. Whoa. It okay, everything in the shop is alive. <laughs> and it's floating around. Okay, you know what this place is still missing though? Some squid hanging from the ceiling. Oh. Yep, this is definitely one of the weirdest things I've built in Minecraft. But this is not where I will be hiding, so it will be a complete waste of their time. Let's go up to the next floor, and you might notice this suspicious painting. And behind it, I have hidden a secret area. And down here, I'm going to place my piranha pit. Just a habitat for my pet piranhas. Absolutely not a trap. And if somebody were to accidentally fall in here, I am not legally responsible for their death, because maybe they shouldn't be snooping around in my house in the first place. They had it coming. Now, we just spawn in a few special piranha fish. Ta-da! Now you might be wondering what's so scary about these cute little tropical fish. Well, you can't see it, but there's actually an invisible drowned riding on top of it. Which means if we summon a few more of these and some poor unsuspecting victim were to, I don't know, fall in the hole, they would be eaten alive by my beloved pet piranhas. Now you're probably wondering how somebody would fall into such an obvious hole. Well, they would probably fall through this false floor that I just made. It's almost impossible to detect that these are not real blocks. So now if somebody ventures behind my paintings to investigate this suspicious wardrobe, they won't be finding Narnia. They'll find my piranha pit. Piranha. Ooh. Now I could hide up there amongst the cobwebs and watch all of my victims, I mean friends, fall into the piranha pit, but no. That is not where I will be hiding. Let's go out of the painting room and instead add some distracting decor. And let's also add some animals in here. They can be the perfect distraction. Maybe they'll think I've turned myself into a cat. Wait, can you hide inside a composter? Wait. <gasps> Am I inside the composter right now? Ah, not really. 
That's not the best hiding spot. Okay, never mind. Let me out. Okay, well that can be a ruse. I'll add loads of composters around and they'll have to check every single one just in case. Next, let's add some armor stands all in a row. And of course, plop my head on it. Now they'll have to inspect each one of these carefully in case it's the real me. But of course, none of them are me. In fact, I won't even be hiding in this room. Let's move on to the next floor up, which is the final floor. And up here, I'm going to waste their time even further with some pointless drip leaf parkour. And all of this drip leaf parkour is going to lead up to this bell. Does this bell do anything? No. But I hope that they waste loads of their time attempting this stupid drip leaf parkour while I am hiding just a few blocks away. This is where I will be hiding. And it's been right in front of your nose all along. Every single one of these rooms has this fireplace. And at the very top, you can actually access the space within the chimney. And this is where I shall hide. But this is a little bit obvious. So let's make this a little sneakier by placing this dispenser with a button and filling it with potions of levitation. Now, when you enter the fireplace, and press the button, you'll receive the levitation effect and you can float up to my hiding spot. I hope it takes them a long time to find me up here. So I told Scott, Jem, Shelby and Jimmy to come looking for me at the same time. But if they find me, they have to hide with me until there's only one seeker standing. Let's see who that will be. Okay, I'm in position. I'm very scared. Wait, there's parkour to get in here? Oh, oh boy. Oh my gosh. Ah, I've fallen already. Oh. You've oh. fallen. <laughs> the normal I'm light. checking the outer Oh perimeter. my god. Lizzie! Oh. oh. What is this? Uh, it's a distraction, guys. That's what it is. Don't trust is it. Horrible. Don't trust it. It's a distraction. What is going on? She could be in the water outside. Too. She's not in this composter. Everywhere I think she could be, she just isn't. Lizzie said this was going to be easy. Did she say easy? I don't think this parkour goes anywhere. What the heck? Oh. Gone, Jim. I'm not going down there. Oh, I thought Jimmy had found it because Jimmy was oh, so quiet. Oh, it was quiet. No, no, I thought, no. uh, I'm trapped. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> I'm stuck. Lizzie, <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> No. Hell. Oh. Ow, ow, ow! Why has she got piranhas? There's piranhas in here. And we can't get out. Wait, are there? What's happening? I'm gonna get killed. Lizzie, are what you? have you done? <laughs> this is piranhas? Twisted. For real? You what? died. I'm you getting died. eaten by piranhas. Help me. That's crazy. Why am I in Jim's bed? Where could she be? I, t I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Was that Lizzie? Yeah, she's. That's Lizzie. That's Lizzie. Uh, was that above or below? I think it's up. Oh, I'm dying uh, by a puffer fish. Right, see you in Gem's base again. Can we get up? She in the, she's not going to be in the water down below, is she? There are spots to hide in down there. Where? Shit. <laughs> that was tough. If she is at the other end of this. Shift, the shift, head? shift, 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 shift. You're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's Scott gone? Is Scott found? Scott? Oh, oh you sneaky man. Oh, Gotta you. track down Scott. Gotta track down Scott. Where was he? Where was he? Ow! Oh, I figured out where you guys have been dying. I found <laughs> it. Ah, uh, oh, right. Yes. Yeah, go in there, Shelby. Oh, is there a... Oh. Oh, yep. Yeah. I found it. <laughs> Where is that? Gotcha. Where the heck are they? I flipped all of these. How did... Bro, we need... Blow that horn again, please. Uh, I don't know. Blow that horn. Gem? What's wrong with me? I, I can't. All right, you're good. You're there. Lizzie, if you don't blow that horn, I'm pushing this cat down. He's going. What 
did you just do? Oh, oh. oh no, she's gone. That was really clever. Mr. Muffles is going. <laughs> Wait, what? I can't push him down. Come on up. <laughs> Welcome. I can't push him down. Gem? Okay, I'm going to ring the horn. Oh, you... What are you doing, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I'm a silly man? I can literally hear your footsteps on the roof. Let me know in the comments if you guessed correctly that Jimmy would be the last seeker. And if you want to see more hide and seek, check out my friends' videos to see their awesome builds.